But now, let's talk about uh, the other story that's dominating the headlines and been breaking over throughout the night. An armoured train carrying the North Korean leader Kim Jong-un is reported to have entered Russia en route to a meeting with President Putin. South Korean and Japanese reports say Mr Kim's trains arrived in the Russian far east town of Kasan, heading towards Vladivostok. This is Mr Kim's first trip abroad for four years. Our sole correspondent, Jean McKenzie, has more on Mr Kim's travel. Kim Jong-un left Pyongyang on Sunday afternoon in his famous armoured train. The United States believes that Mr Kim is meeting Mr Putin to finalise an arms deal, that North Korea has agreed to provide Russia with the ammunition and the artillery that it needs to fight its war in Ukraine. North Korea has been one of the very few supporters of Vladimir Putin's war from the beginning. Over the last four years, North Korea has become increasingly isolated. It is weighed down by sanctions and it is in desperate need of money and of food. But it's also thought that Mr Kim might ask, in return for these weapons, might ask Mr Putin to hand over sensitive weapons technology that he could then use to make breakthroughs in his own nuclear weapons programme. Though this isn't something that officials here are especially concerned about. They just do not believe that this would be in Russia's interest. So if we are looking at a straight arms deal, then the question is how much of a difference can North Korean weapons make on the front line in Ukraine? Are they going to be enough to move that front line to repel the Ukrainian counteroffensive? North Korea's weapons capabilities, its ability to produce weapons, is limited. And it is thought that North Korea will be reluctant to hand over too much of its existing stockpile, which it relies on for its own defense. So if anything, this is a political moment. It is a political show. It is these two countries showing the West, the United States, that they are prepared to work much more closely together now. It is almost a warning, in part, I'm sure, to the United States to say, do not support Ukraine too much. Jean McKenzie there. Well, we'll be looking at this in detail in our business coverage because the Eastern Economic Forum kicks off today. This is a Russia-sponsored event. It's taking place in Vladivostok. And according to the Kremlin, uh, the meeting uh, with Kim Jong-un will be taking place at the conclusion of that event. So all that uh, later in our business coverage.